guys, Shanine here, and in today's video, we are going to be learning how to solve homogeneous differential equations using the method of substitution. So a first order differential equation in differential form is homogeneous if m and n are homogeneous of the same degree. So in other words, this means that m of tx ty is equal to t to the alpha m of xy, and n of tx ty is equal to t to the alpha n of xy. So all this means is that when we're checking if the functions m and n are homogeneous and we plug in tx for x and ty for y, we get that when we factor out the t to the alpha, we get the original functions back both for the m function and for the n function. So if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, check out my video on how to determine if a function is homogeneous. And now let's go over the steps that we need to perform whenever we are solving a homogeneous differential equation using the method of substitution. So the first step is to substitute y is equal to ux or x is equal to vy into our differential equation. And our choice of substitution depends on which function, m or n, is easier to integrate. So if m is easier to integrate, we're going to pick the substitution here, x is equal to vy. And if n is easier to integrate, we're going to pick this substitution y is equal to ux. And performing the substitution reduces our homogeneous differential equation into a separable first order differential equation that we can solve using the method of separation of variables. And after we solve our separable differential equation, the next step is to go ahead and resubstitute for u or v depending on which substitution we made. If we made the substitution y is equal to ux, we are going to make the substitution u is equal to y over x. And if we made the substitution x is equal to vy, we are going to substitute back for v, which is equal to x over y. And this is just to get our answer in terms of x and y. And for our last step, we just need to solve for y, and that is our final answer. And now let's go ahead and take a look at some examples. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at this first example here. So we have the quantity y squared plus y times x dx minus x squared dy is equal to zero. So as our first step, let's go ahead and identify what m and n are equal to. So we have m here, so y squared plus y times x, and then we have n here, so n is negative x squared. So out of these two functions, which one is easier to integrate? So the answer is this n function here because we only have one term and this negative x squared is much easier to integrate than this y squared plus y times x. And so what this means is that we're gonna be making the substitution y is equal to u times x and the way I like to think of it is that this n is being multiplied by this differential dy, so we're going to be making the substitution for our y variable. So we have y is equal to u times x. And so because we are making a substitution for y, we also need to make a substitution for dy. So dy is equal to u times dx plus x times du by the product rule. So now let's go ahead and plug this into our differential equation. So we have y squared, so for y we're going to plug in a u times x, and that's squared, and then we have plus, and we have a y again, so we're going to plug in a u times x there, that's times an x, and then we have a dx, and then minus x squared times dy. So dy is equal to u dx plus x du. and this is all equal to zero. And now let's go ahead and expand this. So we have u squared times x squared, and then plus u times x squared dx, and then here we have an x squared times a u times dx plus x du, and this is equal to zero. And now let's go ahead and expand this further. So we have u squared x squared dx plus u x squared dx, and then we have a minus x squared u dx, and a minus x cubed du, and this is all equal to zero. And we can see here that we have a common term, so we can cancel these two out, and we are left with u squared x squared dx minus x cubed du is equal to zero. 
And so the resulting differential equation is a separable first order differential equation. So let's go ahead and perform separation of variables. As our first step, let's go ahead and add x cubed du to both sides. So our result is going to be x cubed du is equal to u squared x squared dx. And now let's go ahead and move all of our u's to the left hand side and all of our x's to the right hand side. So doing that, let's go ahead and divide both sides by x cubed. And let's also divide both sides by u squared. Okay, so we can see here that this x cubed cancels out with this x cubed and this u squared cancels out with this u squared here. And so on the left hand side, we are left with 1 over u squared du. And on the right hand side, we are left with 1 over x dx. And let's go ahead and rewrite this here, this 1 over u squared as u to the negative 2 du to make our lives easier when we integrate in the next step. And on the right hand side, we just have our 1 over x dx. Okay, so in our next step, we're going to integrate both sides of our equation. And so on the left hand side, we are left with u to the negative 1 over negative 1. And on the right hand side, we just have an ln absolute value of x plus c. And so let's go ahead and write this another way. So we can rewrite this as follows. So negative 1 over u is equal to the natural log of x plus c. And so now let's go ahead and resubstitute for u. So u is equal to y over x if we solve for u using this equation here. And so plugging in for u, we have negative 1 over y over x is equal to the natural log of the absolute value of x plus c. And let's go ahead and simplify this. So we have negative 1 over y over x. So we can rewrite this as negative x over y. And this is equal to the natural log of the absolute value of x plus c. And let's go ahead and take the reciprocal of both sides. So doing that, we have negative y over x on the left hand side. And on the right hand side, we have 1 over the natural log of the absolute value of x plus c. And so for our last step, we're going to solve for y. So we're going to go ahead and multiply this entire equation by negative x. And so that is going to give us y is equal to negative x all over the natural log of the absolute value of x plus c. And so that is our final answer. Okay, so in this next example here, we have the quantity x minus y dx plus x dy is equal to zero. And so as our first step, we're going to want to identify which substitution to make. So let's go ahead and label our m and n functions. So we have m is equal to x minus y and n is equal to x. And so out of these two functions, the one that's easier to integrate is this n function here. So because this n is being multiplied by this dy differential, our substitution is going to be y is equal to u times x. And if we make a substitution for our y, we also need to make a substitution for our dy. So let's go ahead and use the product rule to get our new dy. So we have u dx plus x du. And now let's go ahead and plug this into our differential equation. So we have x minus y. So for y, let's go ahead and substitute a ux. And so that's being multiplied by dx. And we have plus x times dy. So dy is u times dx plus x times du. So let's go ahead and write that. So we have u dx plus x du. And this is equal to 0. And as our next step, let's go ahead and expand this. So we have x dx minus ux dx plus xu dx plus x squared du is equal to zero. Okay, so we can see here that these two terms cancel out. And so we are left with x dx plus x squared du is equal to zero. 
and this is a separable first order differential equation. So now let's go ahead and solve this using the method of separation of variables. So let's go ahead and subtract both sides by x dx. So we end up with x squared du is equal to negative x dx. And now let's go ahead and get all of our u terms on the left hand side and all of our x terms on the right hand side. So let's go ahead and divide this x squared on both sides. And so what we get is du is equal to negative 1 over x dx because these two x squareds cancel out. And this negative x over x squared just simplifies down to negative 1 over x. And so now let's go ahead and integrate both sides. So integrating both sides, we get u is equal to negative the natural log of the absolute value of x plus c. And now let's go ahead and resubstitute for u. So we have y is equal to ux, which means that u is equal to y over x. So let's go ahead and plug this in, this y over x for u. So we have y over x is equal to negative natural log of the absolute value of x plus c. So now let's go ahead and multiply both sides by x to solve for y. Okay, so we end up with y is equal to negative x times the natural log of the absolute value of x plus c times x. And this is our final answer. And so that is how you solve a homogeneous differential equation using the method of substitution. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.